Another day, another brick in the mall. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the series. I was going to say another brick in the mall, but then I figured out I've already just said another brick in the mall. And I ended up saying it again. Never mind, shut up, Dale. <laughs> Hope you guys all doing fantastically well. Last time, we started building the actual mall, right? The actual mall. And it's a roughly the same size as our current area, which is a little bit... I didn't think about it would be that size. Uh, but eventually it will come up to about here-ish, I want to say, and spread down and spread across as well. It's kind of actually going to look more like a mushroom than a rainbow lollipop stick. So, yeah, I may have got that wrong. Um, right, so I also asked you guys... Oh, I didn't actually make the store. Ooh, let's see if we can pause the game and do this now. I asked you guys what I should call my bookstore here, and uh, you guys came up with some good suggestions. In fact... Uh, a couple of you called it what I was kind of planning on calling it anyway. Books, books, books. So why not go ahead and do that? Um, books, books, books. Uh, and someone else, I believe it was Sophie Joanna again. I can't remember. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's just call this book storage. <laughs> also suggested, uh, what was it? Uh, read all about it. That's a good name. I'm going to actually be using that later on. Let's assign a storage over there. Uh, in order to... Oh, I like you. You can definitely be the uh, shop clerk. Uh, I th Or the cashier, even. Not the shop. But then you're much better. Ooh. Do you want patience? That was the right customer satisfaction and speed. Okay, definitely want to go for Ethan. Uh, okay, cool. So we actually have products now, and they will come in here and... Like in an hour. Um, actually, are they going to come in today? Stuck in traffic. Yeah, on the way to work. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I actually want to kind of make like a stall in the middle of the mall, like in the corridor. Kind of like a newspaper stall. And I want to call it Read All About It. Because to me, Read All About It kind of sounds like newspaper. Okay, so before things start, let's get the things on the shelves here. So we want Toys by the Tills. And then we want the nine bookshelves here. And we're going to have our stock clerk come in at the beginning of the day. Uh, for the full day because obviously we're not going to be able to restock in just a couple of hours in one day um, but afterwards we're only going to have him come in for like two or three hours he won't need to come in for very long because it's not going to be a very busy store when we start like unlocking road access then we get a lot more people come in okay are you actually gonna no you can't stock anything up because you've got no stock yet oh whoopsie uh, let's also get some like music CDs at the back of the store here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yep, there we go. And then when this is built in... Wait, are you a customer? No, you look like a shop clerk. Why are you going over there? What? <laughs> you came over here and then went... Oh, that was really bizarre. Oh, you've actually got stock now. That's fantastic. And the lorry's parking here, finally. I think what happened is someone parked elsewhere. Okay, and this one is going to be DVD and Blu-rays. Awesome, so we have a little bookstore here, which is going to specialize in DVDs. Not DVDs, books. Books, books, books. It's called Books, Books, Books. Okay, so I also wanted to build a, like a Home Depot store. Uh, and if we check out the household items here, there's only five, and none of them have a tier three. So what this means is we don't have to specifically specify that's what's... Ow, I just cracked my thumb knuckle. Um, that's what specify means, so that makes sense. We don't have to specify or try and specialize in one item, like have over 50% of one item. We could just have the store with all of this in it and it would be good to go. In fact, we could even throw in some other stuff like some, some car tools or something like that um, and it will still be at least above 50% household items to get this... Um, uh, bonus, I guess. Do I want to have a restroom here or not? I kind of do. At the same time, I don't want it like right by the entrance. Um, you know what? No, I think I'm going to do it. Uh, so if we have like a door here, and we have mm, no. I kind of want to have it a little bit wider because we we need we need to focus on having more space. I think. Um, so let's make a restroom first. Uh, let's grab some uh, sinks. And this is just going to be unisex. 
Oh, we must place it against. We must place it indoors. It is indoors. Huh? That's really bizarre. It counts on that wall and that wall, but not on that wall. Huh? How strange. Uh, let's wait for our builder to build stuff <laughs> and see if that fixes it. We're getting sales in books, books, books. That's pretty good. Our stock clerk is still stocking up, which is great as well. Okay, why are you still working, dude? Go home. <laughs> okay, let's build this restroom in here. And uh, again, I do want to work on that like Home Depot store. Huh, no, it worked. That was very strange. Okay, now let's get some toilet cubicles in. Uh, just like this. Uh-huh. And it kind of seems like a waste putting them along here and not in the middle. Because technically we can put them in the middle. But I think that'll look really weird. So I'm not going to do that. Do not let me put... Wait, why can't I put one there? That's really bizarre. So for the sakes of being symmetrical... <laughs> I'm just going to do that. I can't rotate this. That's really bizarre as well. Let's just have a paper dispenser up there. And then like a bin. I can have a bin. Where is a bin? Is there no bin? Trash can. Americanized. <laughs> I was looking for a bin. Okay, let's assign this as a restroom, not a maintenance center. Wait, what did it? Oh, because it's not actually built yet. Manage, restroom, and we will call this... Restroom. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, like, very well thought out really does it uh, okay so let's get some more walls I'm unsure how big I want this like depot store to be so again let's let's do the thing we did last time let's figure out how we want to lay the store out first and then figure out stuff around it so you'll notice that we only have one staff member or one cashier in books 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 at the moment we have the ability to upgrade that when our store gets busier when we unlock new uh, road access so let's think Home Depot store um, usually it's sort of the checkouts are there as you walk in uh, so what if we have something like I wish we had one-way doors that would be kind of cool um, so if we have the queue like here maybe although then I'm kind of mirroring the other store yeah I don't care <laughs> let's have the queues there okay uh, let's grab the walls because obviously we're gonna Ooh, I didn't put them in quite in the right place uh, where, how, how, how get rid there cool okay now I can put the walls in awesome and you guys also said that you wanted to see me like build and figure out stuff in my head as I build so I'm fine with that I asked you guys what you wanted to see and if you guys want more episodes which are a little less organized then that's absolutely fine by me okay so shelves let's think uh, if it's a Home Depot store let's have like you know what, that lends itself perfectly symmetrical right there. That's kind of weird how it's worked out. How big? I kind of want to stretch these out. Uh, and then, so if we make it like that, then that's only four products. Jeez, okay, this store's going to be big. So that's two, no, actually that's four shelves of each item. Dang, that's huge, man. Okay, it's a big store. <laughs> And not a lot of stuff up for sale. Again, I guess I could. Uh, we could put another like shelf unit here. Okay, no, this is uh, this is cool. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I want to use up a lot of space because at the end of the day, if we make a, sh a store bigger and use up more space than it should need, then we can always expand afterwards. Now, how much does cap of four? So these go up by five. Okay. Um. That could be a problem, so we'll just do that for now. Objects. Okay, let's get our stuff. Let's speed things up a bit. So we're not going to have a day of trading for this door, but we will be able to have it again tomorrow. Get some staff doors in there. Double door in there. No builder yet. <laughs> this guy's early for work, man. Where's your stock clerk? There he is. In fact, let's now make it so that books, books, books... Yeah, we lost a lot of money, but that's because no one knows about the shop yet. The stock clerk is only here for like three hours. Four hours? Three hours. But yeah, look at the sales. The sales just went up towards the end of the day because people had to make their way here afterwards. But now that people know that the store is here, they will, like this, park here. 
Okay, that has been filled in very quickly, um, which is fantastic. One more shelf to put in. Please put the shelf in. Thank you. Okay, so let's assign this. Oh, I can't assign it as a store just yet, because if it is assigned as a store, then people will want to use it. So let's first of all assign our storage. Uh, oh, wait, no, because if I do, then that's going to drive me crazy. That. Oh, wait, no, the store won't open because it won't have any stuff yet, so that's fine. Uh, and you guys didn't come up with a name for the, uh, depot. Have they not built the... Why have they not acquired toilet sinks? Zero out of... There's two! What? Build. Why on earth has that done that? What if I put them there? How strange. Oh, was it because it's not technically... Okay, they, they should probably fix that. That's really bizarre. So because I put it technically on this square, not in this square, it didn't count. I'll still keep it there for, like, decoration, so it, it looks the same, but it doesn't function. I mean, they don't function anyway. The only thing that does function are the toilet cubicles themselves. Anyway, this door, now that it's gone uh, opening hours, we can assign it some... Uh, some stock and some staff actually. Hire a stock clerk. I always want to check stock clerks first because then I can check to see if there's any um, any decent uh, cashiers. That's the word right there. Both of you are really good. I think I prefer you. I don't know why. You've got a bit more experience. Cool. Uh, obviously we're going to need to get some storage. Um, what was it like? 4x4? Four yeah, it looks like 4x4 four four to me. It should technically be 3x4, I just realized. Because we want... Yeah, yeah, 3x4. Three, four. three wide, four, 4 up. Cool, because we obviously need to put a wall there when this uh, this place is built. Although, for now, we'll benefit from extra storage, which is great. Okay, objects. Uh, staff a door. Where are you? There you are. You can go in there. Uh, we're going to need to build some roads. Let's... Oh, time is going. Okay. Oh, dang. Time's going. Um... Okay. Oh, I was like, why is this not a store yet? Because you've not been assigned storage. We definitely want to bring a road up here. Again, I'm pretty sure that, like, that is as far as I'm ever going to go in terms of roads. So let's do that. Okay, and now to select our stock. So we've got... How many stuff to pick between five? So let's see. Uh, let's have like bed sheets. At, no, let's have like cookware and dishes right at the front because I feel like those will be higher value. So let's lay it out a little bit differently as well. So let's have cookware in there. So that way, sort of like people will go walk in here and then be surrounded by cookware. Did I do that right? Household items, cookware, four. No, I think I did bed sheets there instead. And then this one will be dishes. Okay. Again, pausing the game. Doesn't make for great gameplay, but doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Dishes. Okay, and to separate those up, let's go for... Um, bed sheets. Yeah, let's go for, like, bed sheets. And then the other side of that will have detergents. Uh, some more bed sheets. And then detergents, and then our other, uh, the other side of that will have the light bulbs and electricity. So I think now I can set things back in motion. Uh, and electricity, or light bulbs and electricity. Because no one walks past light bulbs and think, oh, get some light bulbs, do they? No, no one at all. You always have to search right at the back of the store for some light bulbs. Okay, but the good news is we've got stock here as already so that's fantastic we just need to wait for our staff to come in and stock the shelves up why do people keep going walk around the shop oh I guess because they technically don't start until 9 do they so obviously the first day isn't going to be very profitable actually let's check out books 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 only minus 8% that's fine that's fine because again when we first of all get rid of this section this section will obviously be taken out and then all of the business will move over to this section so this mall area will get a lot busier uh, once we remove the other mall. So that is fine by me. <laughs> Minus 8%, I would say at the minute, is a acceptable loss to take. 
Um, how are we doing in terms of money? Okay, that's fine. Um, Ten thousand dollars profit. That's good. Wow, there was one day we did 14 and a half grand. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. We got a 10 grand buff, uh, bonus. I'll take that. Okay, so we're coming close to the end of the episode. I'm going to wait for the day to finish. I'm taking a bit, of, little bit of a, a loss in terms of profit here. Actually, no, we did better than yesterday. That's fine. I'm happy with that. My profit's not going to go up anymore because all of our shops have shut. Okie dokie. Oh, that builder couldn't have finished that last bit of road. Oh, of course he couldn't. Which is fine, I guess, because it means that now that that's done, let's pause, uh, because I want to get in some loading zones over here. Let's put another loading zone there. And then get in some staff car parking as well. Like that. I guess that works. We can have, like, bus stops here. You know what? Let's actually make car uh, staff car parking all the way along there. That way, they park as close to the building as possible. Okay, let's have one more run through, one more day of sales, and then we shall be able to see how profitable both these stores are. Although the other thing I want to do is take the store, ooh, <laughs> take the stock clerk, and give him just like three hours work again, because that's how we save money. We don't. The whole point of having lots of shelves is that we they don't need to be restocked as much. <clears throat> okay whizzing through this day I know that the the highest speed setting doesn't make for great video recording but we want the day to go over quite quickly uh, so that we can see how we're doing I need to also take the other well, like cookware and things off from bound marts uh, and also I need a name for our store here our brand new like um, household goods store that one could probably stay open for longer as well uh, whereas books 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 you know books 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 can probably stay open for longer too aha uh -huh. Let's see how we did. I'm expecting that to be still like minus maybe like 80%. Whereas books, books, books. Oh, books, books, books went to 4%. So that actually made a profit minus 203%. To be fair, it's a large store. It's got lots of maintenance to it. It's, it's not going to turn a profit straight away. Anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Another Brick in the Mall. Look at that. It's coming together, isn't it? That actually looks kind of cool. Next time, I'm hoping we get... Oh, we should have enough money, actually, to expand upwards. Um, because I want to see... I haven't figured it out yet. If I can start working on a cinema or a theatre complex. So we're going to be able to build a ticket booth. Uh, and build multiple screens. And then customers should hopefully flock to this new mall section for some entertainment. Because if we look, have a look at our needs here. We go to entertainment. There we are. Look at it. Movies. Demand. 56. There are 56 potential people that could come in each day to have movies. We want that. So, hopefully we'll do that next time. Guys, thanks again for watching, and I, of course, will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.